Hey guys, even here, so we are two weeks out of Arnold Classic and we're gonna take a look at some of these bodybuilders that are doing the show, so for example Nick Walker, we're gonna start with him, so Nick posted this photo of himself in most muscular and as you can see in the caption right there he says he's of course under two weeks out and that his morning weight is 258 and also he says that this is his last full body update uh, up until the show maybe which i doubt is going to be the case nick loves to post very transparent updates all throughout the prep we'll see maybe this is the last one anyways he's 258 now that is about the same weight he was uh, last year at the mr olympia what does this mean really well if you take a look at the caption the last row right there he says time to dig deeper now so at two weeks out he's gonna start to push for conditioning really hard and he's already at 258 so i think it's pretty safe to say that he's gonna be lighter than he was at last year's mr olympia is this a good thing or a bad thing well the thing with nick walker is he already has all the muscle that he needs really like there aren't many bodybuilders that are bigger than him he's probably the biggest bodybuilder right now out there i mean considering his height and his weight and how much he's dominant in those very important body parts like shoulders arms back like he's a really freaking big bodybuilder so at this point all he needs is refinement you know bringing crazy conditioning crazy details and that kind of stuff like he doesn't need to get bigger it's also very important to say that last year at the mr olympia he was around 245 so he was quite a bit lighter than he is these days which means obviously he was around the same weight at the arnold classic last year when he won so now he's gonna be around 10 pounds maybe a little bit less than 10 pounds heavier but i'm sure he's gonna bring better detail because you can see right here he's showing some separation in the chest that i don't think i've noticed last year two weeks out and also i think his symmetry is better i think his arms are a little bit smaller or everything else grew got better but his arms did not grow along with everything else so i think his symmetry is looking better now proportions i mean he looks overall more balanced more symmetrical symmetry is not only left to right being equal symmetry also has another meaning you can google it it means being balanced so his balance right now is i think it's improved now sure you may dislike his aesthetics i'm not a huge fan but you can't argue the fact that he is probably the most complete bodybuilder out there doing the arnold classic and he's most likely gonna win he also posted this video where he's doing his abs and you can kind of get the idea of his conditioning like you can see his entire upper body his stomach area there is no fat whatsoever under that skin you can see that he is incredibly lean and yeah once again aesthetics wise he doesn't have the prettiest waist the smallest waist but he has very developed abs and he's trying very hard to uh, make that stomach look uh, make his stomach actually a strong body part for him if not with uh, having the smallest waist then with having the most developed abs and i don't think anybody else has that much muscle in their abs so pretty much nick walker made his weakest point one of his strongest points really i don't think anybody else has that much muscle there and it doesn't really make his waist any wider it just draws your eyes when you look at his physique you just see those crazy thick developed abs anyways in about a week a week and a half from now we're gonna see how well he's gonna do at the arnold classic i'm pretty confident that he's gonna win at this point i don't see why he would lose but we're gonna find out very soon now let's move on to another guy doing this show and i gotta say patrick moore i'm not really a fan of this guy i mean of his personality his physique i don't know in 2019 at the mr olympia it was pretty impressive some of the poses like side tricep were really extraordinary i gotta say for somebody who cracks the top 10 without being super massive with those crazy aesthetics with those crazy lines it was very impressive but ever since then he never really presented something super impressive so i was doubtful of patrick moore in this prep you may have noticed that if you followed my channel however lately in the past two weeks he has been posting a lot of great uh, great updates you know he really looks good he looks promising 
and I don't know how well he's gonna do, how well will he compare against the big guys, but honestly, whatever he does at the Arnold Classic, I'm happy that he's doing this show, because sometimes I enjoy even more the build-up until the show than the show itself, because it lasts way longer, and Patrick is one of those guys who has been posting a lot of stuff, a lot of updates, he hasn't really been hiding, he hasn't been posting one update every two weeks or so, he has been posting a lot of stuff, a lot of content, he gave us a lot of topics to discuss, to talk about, and I love that, so no matter how he does the Arnold Classic, he made this show, he, he actually made this show more fun, more interesting, so props for that. Now, as far as how he's gonna do, really, at the, at the show, I don't know about that, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna be that last, I have him over Kamal Gargni, for example, and if some of the bigger guys like Akeem, like Justin Rodriguez, if these guys, maybe even Big Grammy, if they sleep, maybe he can actually squeak into that, uh, maybe he can actually take some of them out, you know, <laughs> I don't want to say squeaking to the top five, because I don't see that happening, but I don't know, the best case scenario for him, if he's really shredded and the other guys aren't really that, that conditioned, maybe I can see him being top six, but that, that's, that's, I mean, that's a tall order. How off Big Ramy needs to be to lose against somebody with legs that look like this. I mean, his upper body, he, he, he's not the biggest guy, but he flows pretty well. However, his legs, his lower body, he lacks muscle in, the, in that area for sure. Now, this is the photo that, uh, that surfaced out there, and as you can see, uh, I mean, he has, like, he, he built up some adductors, but as far as outer head, that vastus lateralis and also vastus medialis, the teardrop, those two heads are not exactly as developed as his, for example, shoulders, arms, uh, even chest, probably even back, so he doesn't have the best symmetry in that regard, his legs could definitely be better, now we'll see how it will flow on stage, but this photo is worrying me. Maybe it's not the best angle, you can compare it to this photo of uh, Nick Walker. Similar angle, not exactly the same, but similar. And also Nick Walker is also, is also not known for having the best, the best sweep. You know, lateral head also is not very good. However, uh, the, the teardrop is much better. And you can also see the conditioning, like the vascularity. Um, I mean, Nick is definitely much, much bigger than Patrick. You're gonna see that on stage. Uh, this is also a weird angle, you know, legs don't look better when you take a photo from below. If you take a photo from up high, it usually doesn't look the best. Obviously, Patrick's photo is taken from a little bit different angle, the, the camera is lower, so it should show more size, but really, you can see that this is a gap for Patrick Moore. I don't know how much will it affect him, but, you know, we'll find out very soon. All of these photos of his upper body do look quite impressive. He doesn't look super duper shredded, but he does look bigger. He does look improved. And he's getting harder by the day. So maybe everything is gonna just click perfectly on the show day and he's gonna look great and he's gonna do well. If he doesn't, it doesn't really matter. He made this build-up of the show more interesting and I also think he could be the dark horse of the show. He could surprise some people. All right, and lastly, we got an update, an off-season update of Blessing of Audible. And it looks like this guy is growing, like he's seriously growing, getting bigger. And it looks like that injury in his squad wasn't really that serious because he's still training. You can see it in his posts and his legs do not look downsized or anything like that. I think his legs look bigger than they ever looked. And legs are definitely a huge issue for Blessing. I don't know if he'll ever be able to fix them to the point where they are uh, not, let's not even say a strong point, but where they are not really creating him any problems. I think his legs are always going to be a weaker point for him because his upper body is like super, super dominant and his legs aren't really that great. But as you can see, his upper body is pretty freaking huge right now. His offseason is going really well. He, he looks like he's really growing. You can also see it from behind, I mean, look at his back, like, this guy looks really freaking massive, and also his waist seems to be staying pretty, pretty small. Now, the thing, the main thing is, how much can he really grow his legs, that's the number one thing, uh, I don't think he's gonna improve them that much, 
uh, for him to actually be like a top 10 guy at the Mr. Olympia as he wants to be. Uh, for the past couple of years, he has been calling out Nick Walker, you know, try, trying to make himself appear as Nick's competition, as somebody who is going to be one of the top guys. And as you saw at the Mr. Olympia, yeah, he was totally off, but he was in fourth call out. I mean, if he was on, I mean, for example, Ian Wallier was completely off and he was 11th. That's what happens when a good bodybuilder is off. I mean, I'm not saying Blessing is a bad bodybuilder. He's a great bodybuilder. But I'm saying that's what happens when a top 10 uh, Mr. Olympia competitor, or let's say top 7 Mr. Olympia competitor is off. I mean, they end up a couple of spots lower. So, I mean, let's assume that Blessing was like way more off than Ian was. And if he makes significant improvements, especially in his legs, how well will he do? At the next year's Mr. Olympia, assuming he qualifies, he wins a show, which I'm pretty sure he can do if he chooses a show wisely. Maybe this year he can actually be in that uh, top 15, maybe he's actually gonna get a place. So that, that'll be a huge leap for him. I mean, going from fourth call-out to second call-out would be a huge achievement. And if you are 15th best bodybuilder in the world, that's an amazing success for sure. So whatever you guys think about Blessing's improvements and where do you see him potentially, if everything goes well for him, if he actually improves what he needs to improve, where do you see him placing at this year's Mr. Olympia? And tell me, what do you think about Patrick Moore, where he's gonna place, and what do you think about Nick Walker, what he looks like right now, and do you think he's gonna win this show, Arnold Classic? Me personally, at this point, I'm pretty sure he will. But it also might be Andrew Jacked who takes it away. I'm gonna make a prediction video soon, in a couple of days. So stay tuned, guys. Subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you once again. All the best, guys. And bye-bye.